nice to see you. Um, we've got a couple for you. Um, the obvious one is, uh, you know, there's so many Texas guys on this team and you being one of them. How excited are you to go and uh, not only lead this team to a bowl game, but to be able to have that bowl game be in Texas? Oh, that's super exciting. Uh, playing Texas back in our old home state, uh, it's an exciting feeling. You know, everybody's locked in. All the California guys we have our back on this one because this is kind of like our USC or UCLA. So um, all the Texas guys are fired up and ready to go to work. And, uh, you know, just excited. And, and then uh, for you guys, uh, just as a team uh, coming off that Utah game, I know not a performance that you guys, uh, you know, it wasn't your best performance. Uh, how much do you guys really want to make up for that? And is this bowl game sort of for that, to prove yourselves again? Oh, definitely. You know, just having that taste of a loss still in our mouths and not performing the way we really wanted to on the defensive line. Uh, there's definitely, you know, dudes are excited to get back. You know, we want to run the ball well again, like we've been doing all year. So there's definitely some things that we want to go out and prove uh, this game next Tuesday. Henry Chisholm. Hey, Will. Uh, you were named second team all conference. Um, what's your reaction to that? How does it make you feel? Uh, obviously not, you know, one of the first team didn't get that, but it's still a blessing. Um, you know, our running back, Jerick Broussard, he got, I'm pretty sure, Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Year. So if he's doing well, I'm happy. So, <laughs> Justin Guerrero. Well, over the, the last couple of days and weeks, there, there's been a lot of talk uh, about you guys as a program just wanting more respect and having to go out and, and earn respect. And, and a big part of doing that, of course, being by – by winning big games and you seem to have just that kind of opportunity ahead of you facing number number 20 ranked Texas uh, a big time program uh, with a lot of pride and tradition just what do you guys as players see in this opportunity before you to to maybe do just that to, to have a chance to go play a respected team and, and in turn earn some for yourself definitely and I mean we really wanted to showcase our talents and abilities versus Utah um, obviously, as you know, that we weren't able to do that and didn't end uh, the way we wanted it to. So this is another, uh, you know, big opportunity for us to do that and really go show the country how special Colorado football is. Jeff Jones. Hey, Will. Uh, growing up in Allen, the Dallas area, were you a big UT fan as a child? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, watching all the Texas games, Texas A&M, Oklahoma games. So being able to play a big a Big 12 team, that's really awesome for me. And I was, I was going to be happy with any Big 12 team, but, you know, getting to play Texas, that's really cool. So your family was one, everybody was decked out in burn orange. Y'all were, y'all were <laughs> diehards? Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> uh, Greg Luca. Do you have any of your uh, friends and family who are going to be coming to the game? Oh, definitely. My mom and dad um, and my cousin and a bunch of friends are going to try and make it. Has it been tough for you playing without fans this season? How much is it? How much are you looking forward to the opportunity to have a, an experience with some people out there to watch you? Um, it's definitely been really weird, but you know, week one, um, Coach Rod, my offensive line coach, he talked to us and he he all asked us, you know, do you play with the motion or off of it? And since then, you know, we've all been focused on just you know playing with the motion, you know, not having fans there. Um, obviously, that does give you a little boost, but. You know, if you play with energy, play with emotion, then you'll be fine. So um, we've been doing that. But I definitely am excited to have some fans in this game. It's going to be awesome. And back to Brian Howe. So, Will, we know uh, this is Coach Durrell's first season. And you guys only are going to get six games out of this. But uh, how big is this step for this program to be able to be in a bowl game and, you know, win or lose? I know you want to win this one. But win or lose, how big is this step to be in a bowl game and play Texas uh, for the foundation of this program? Definitely huge. And I think it, it means even more if we win the game. So that's definitely the goal right now. But, you know, just having the way this year has been, you know, got a new coach, had to get, had to get sent home for COVID and then just everybody having to be accountable, uh, you know, work out by themselves and then come back here, get sent home again. Just a lot of adversity. But, you know, for Coach Rowe to be able to keep all of us, you know, believing, working hard, you know, that's just a major hats off to him and just goes to show you the character that Coach Rowe has. And Henry Chisholm. Um, a, a lot of teams in the Pac-12 and across the country have decided they don't want to play bowls this season um, for various reasons. Uh, were there any conversations in the locker room or with the other leaders on the team about potentially ending the season before the postseason? 
Um, yeah, I, I did see that with other schools, um, you know, and I respect them for their decisions. But I feel like here, you know, we haven't been to a bowl game since 2016 and we haven't won a bowl game since, what, 2002, 2004. So yeah, there's cool. definitely 2004. Yeah. So, I mean, we definitely want to go um, and win this bowl game and, you know, just take a major step into building this program back up. And Adam Monster Dagger. Hey, Will, obviously uh, your focus is on the upcoming bowl game. Have you thought about the future beyond that at all? Is the NFL something you will consider, or do you feel like you'll be back at CU next year? Um, no, right now I'm just all eyes on Texas. Uh, that looks like it from the group, but Will, uh, I understand Darren Chivarini after practice this morning informed you about Jarek. So what was yeah. the reaction there? But did anybody mention to you that Carl's coach of the year? <laughs> Uh, no, I did not. Uh, oh, yeah, they did, actually. Um, you know, Jarek, it's great to see him get that award. And, you know, just awesome to see Coach Durrell get that Coach of the Year award because, you know, he's been resilient um, and really just keeping all of us focused, keeping all of us accountable and on track. And, you know, as you could see, uh, the first four games, you know, it really paid off. So it was awesome to see him earn that award that he really deserved. 